Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh1, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today, we continue talking about the Logicians. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K content twice a day. Uh, today, we're going to be going over the Maritech War, uh, a savage secessionist war. Uh, so if you guys have any other requests, please comment down below. But with that said, let's get into 40 facts about the Maritech War. The Maritech Wars was a regional conflict fought between the Imperium of Man and a group of nomadic secessionists based in the Merit's cluster of worlds located between the Calic sector of the Segmentum Obscurus. The Merit's cluster is a grouping of a dozen barely habitable worlds caught in the empty void of space between the two imperial sectors, claimed fully by neither and largely considered more trouble than it's worth. The stellar cluster was dominated by the scavenging Meritech clans, void-born families who maintain ramshackle caravan fleets that plied the space between the sectors mining, trading, salvaging, and fighting off attacks by corsairs and marauding orc vessels as best as they were able. Over the years, the clan grew stronger and began to monopolize much of the border trade between the two sectors, and the size and sophistication of their fleets grew to be a serious concern to the local authorities. Unfortunately, other crises and events pressed, and the matter was left to fester. It finally came to a head when a battle fleet Calyxis patrol squadron of frigates pursuing suspected pirate activity in the cluster was ambushed. All but one frigate was destroyed by the clan's warships. The Merit's uprising had begun as the clan seceded from the imperial rule. The Meritech clans quickly took an aggressive stance and launched scores of raids and strikes deep in both sectors, causing widespread panic and discord. Their vessels were small, but their advanced jamming systems and compact yet powerful weaponry made them more than a match for their Imperial Navy counterparts. In addition, their boarding parties were made up of heavily cyber-augmented shock troops that smashed through the Imperial opposition with ease. For a time, the whole Kellic sector reeled with shock of the Meritech assault, and several worlds threatened to fall into civil war as rumors of the rebellion spread. While the power of the Exaniad bickered and withdrew to defend their own borders, a newly enthroned sector governor took charge in Calixis. With the backing of the Calixian conclaves of the Inquisition, she rallied the defense with merciless intent, purging the lucid court on Scintilla of dissenters and rivals in a single bloody night. Her plan, rather than fruitlessly chasing a hundred smaller threats, was to simply and mercilessly strike a blow from which the enemy would not recover. Regis Sectora, Miram Harvala, in what is remembered to this day as the Proclamation of Scant Mercy, ordered the Sector battle fleet to mass into an armored fist and smash directly into the heart of the Meritit's cluster. With the might of her army pouring behind, no pity quarter or mercy were given to any found there. As the 17 year long purge of the cluster went on, inquisitorial investigation revealed that the logicians had been both the instigators of the crisis and the source of the clan's newfound technological might. It appeared they viewed the war that had cost millions of lives as little more than a massive series of field tests. The logicians had maneuvered their conspirators into highly placed positions within the logistical efforts behind imperial response, seeking to profit from whichever outcome might follow. The Inquisition's wrath was terrible, and in conjunction with the Mechanicus faction known as the Divine Light of Solax, they systematically hunted down and scourged the logician influence from Hive Tarsus on Scintilia. Fengsworld and a dozen other commercial operations and military vessels where it had taken root. In the later stages, much of the Merit's cluster was laid waste as an Imperial Navy task force hounded the remnants of the Meritech clans and their logician masters deep into the Ixenine sector, causing a major diplomatic incident and conjuring up the specter of intersector conflict. 
had the Calixian conclaves not called upon the authority of the seat of the Inquisition of the entire Segmentum Obscurus to intervene. In the aftermath of the Maritech Wars, it seemed that the power of the logicians in the Calic sector had been broken, and so it remained at least for several centuries. Over the last several centuries, the logician heresy has once again begun to feature in the incidences and intelligence monitored by the Adeptus Arbitus and Inquisition in the Calic sector. Reports and contacts have been registered from various worlds and locations, tracking a definite pattern over time. It is spreading toward the sector's core across Josian Reach, with isolated incidences reported as wide a field as Sinophia and Endrite. This latest infiltration seems markably more ruthless in its execution and callous disregard for human life than ever before, with its plans now featured as the scorched earth policy in covering its tracks and concealing any tangible evidence of its activities from imperial and local authorities. New developments within the cult have also come to light, such as the role of the so-called Iron Tetrarchs and the use of the Assassins of the Ashen Tear, as well as a distinct tendency toward mass casualty events such as a powerful explosion, diversary terrorist attack, and even discriminate bioweapon releases. All of these are used to protect the logicians from assaults and mask their escape when confronted. The pattern of logician activities so far has been one of covert action to remove opposition and infiltrate local authorities in order to pave the way for cell groups conducting horrific experimental tests, the focus of which seems to be forbidden fleshwork, weapon development, and augmentative research. Inquisitor Ram of the Ordo Hereticus has made his goal to confront and destroy the logicians. In recent years, he has put forth the theory that the logicians are operating in some sort of rapidly accelerating timetable, seeking to quickly develop an arsenal with which to engage in some future war, or perhaps for some coming intrigue of importance to them, worth taking the risk of breaking their centuries of long silence. Whether or not the notorious firebrand Ram is correct, it is certain that the number of contacts with the cult has increased drastically in the last decade, and that it's moving forward to some dark and heretical purpose of its own. One of the most notorious incidences of tech heresy in living memory, known popularly as the Gene Atrocity, or the Blight of Nova Castilia, can be firmly laid at the door of the logician cult and has set the murderous standard for all of its activities in recent years. A powerful cabal of logician cells, deeply rooted in the underbelly of Fengsworth's linked trio of hive cities, had created a new network of gene labs, holding pens and testing arenas to conduct a dreadful program of secret human experiments. The group sought to extract weapons worthy of chemical and powerful augmented drugs, as well as to create chimerical bioconstructs from the monstrosities found within the depths of High Volg. Unfortunately for the logicians, matters spiraled quickly out of control as several test subjects escaped to wreak havoc in the maze of access tunnels between the hives, attracting the Inquisition's direct involvement. It remains unclear whether what happened next was an intentional act of mass murder on the logician's part, or a further uncontrolled experimental disaster but a powerful mutagenic virus was unleashed. Many of those that came into contact with it quickly died, their bodies twisting and boiling in biological meltdowns as a viral agent ran unchecked within them. But a small percentage were transformed into insane hybrid things, pale horrors from beneath Volk, brought from the flesh of men. Fortunately, the virus was a victim in part of its own mortal influence and its immediate and present threat triggered the swift and brutal action of Inquisitor Ram and the Fengsworth planetary government, which was swiftly contained. Ironically, the relatively affluent hive of Nova Castilia suffered the worst from its private sectors with around 100,000 casualties, while the sweltering industrial hell of Magna Gorska suffered barely half that total. As for Nightmarish High Vogue itself, the effects were barely registered above the norm for the Dark Metropolis's daily death toll. The most recent logician plot to come to light 
has also involved the covert operation of monstrous bio-experiments on living human victims. More troubling, this experimentation has occurred in the depths of Hive Sibelius on the sector capital of Scintilia, proving just how far the cult's network has spread across Calyx. The logicians' experiments in this case were thwarted by the actions of a team of freshly recruited inquisitorial acolytes. However, wider investigation, prompted by the unraveling of events in the Koskarla division, have indicated that the cult cell was but one part of a larger conspiracy in Scintilia that remains to be exposed and destroyed, lest another gene atrocity be unleashed at the very heart of the Calic sector. And those were 40 facts about the logicians. That puts an end to our series about the logicians. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, there's more lore on the actual wiki page, so click down in the description below. That's going to take you there. Uh, and if you guys have any other suggestions for other Warhammer 40k races, groups, organizations, please comment down below. We would love to create a video for you. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and sharing. If you want to support us a little bit more, jump on over to Patreon. A simple dollar a month helps us create more videos. With that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate, signing out.